All right, it is time to do the October Horror Pack DVD unboxing. Um, and I actually did the Blu-ray one before the DVD one first because this box is heavier than normal. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what's all in there, which is also why it's still in the box and not in that outer plastic wrapping. But anyway, um, October, you know, sort of synonymous with horror, thanks to Halloween and its popularity. So many of the other boxes, so many of the boxes um, are doing a horror themed. So it's a very horror themed month. So let's see what Horror Pack did. Um, in the month of October. Oops. So I opened it up, and the first thing that I saw, see is, whoops, is The Woods. I think it's a movie that I've heard of, but never actually got around to seeing. And Bruce Campbell's in it in some capacity. And there's a picture of him on the back, which I tried to show you, but it really would just be too glary right now. So that, that's always good. Oops. And next we have How to Save Us. Oh, well, it's, it, it says Survive the Horror on top. So I don't know if that's part of the title. But it's not on the back, so I don't know. How to Save Us. Oh, I see there's something thicker at the bottom. Then we have House, which is uh, or a house double feature, which has the first and then the second movie. I think there's only two, so I don't know why I said first and second. So it has the two movies. Uh -oh. and, and then there's this, this, this thick thing at the bottom, which is taking up... More space, and it's the reason that it's heavy, and that is Bloodfest Rest in Pieces. So it appears to have uh, five, there's a five DVD collection, but I'll get more into that in a little while. All right, it is time for the pricing and evaluation section of the October Horror Pack DVD edition. As always, I sort of show these in the order of how excited I was to receive them, with the last one being the one that I was most excited to receive. So first off, we have Bloodfest, which did come with this nice tin. So that's an added bonus. Um, it has a fairly decent sort of holding system for the movies. I could open it up. The other side's just the same. Where they each have their own spot, and then it's just sort of folded on top of each other. They don't stick the best, but they don't really roll around as much. It's definitely better than the ones that are just sort of put in those, like, sleeves. Or, you know, when they just jam all on top of each other. Which they will sometimes do in collection type things. Um, the reason that it got this spot is because it's just sort of like an assortment of five movies. Um, I don't really know anything about any of them, and it would take a long time to give a synopsis of them. So I won't. Uh, it's easy enough to just find to read them. So I'd like to give you the names of the movies. It has The Thirsty Dead, Sisters of Death, House by the Cemetery, Bloody Wednesday, and Hatchet Murders. And according to the back of the box, they're all rated PG-13, which is not my favorite rating for horror movies, especially for one that had, you know, a title like The Hatchet Murders. Um, I know movies with, like, psychological horror and things of that nature can definitely work well with PG-13 ratings, but I definitely have an R-rated bias. That's just me. So, and also some of those were listed as full screen and I'd prefer not to get full screen unless it was, you know, the way it was shot. Anyway, if you would like to find out more about Bloodfest or if you would like to purchase it, 
you may go to you may go to eBay and get it for you know between eleven fifty and twenty five dollars. But no worries, because you can also go to Amazon and get it for nine. I'd probably go to Amazon and get it for nine. So the next one we have we have House and House Two. And the reason that it got its spot is because I own copies of both of these individually. House is about a man who uh, moves into a house and it begins writing a book about his experiences in Vietnam. After moving into this house, he is tormented by nightmares um, of a dead comrade as well as creatures from another dimension. Uh, he also has a nosy, a nosy neighbor to deal with. Right, the second movie, House 2, the second story. Nice pun, huh? Um, <clears throat> we have an artist who moves into a house, and house, and um, he sort of is plunged into a world where his dreams become real, whether they're good or nightmares. Personally, I think the first house movie is better, but the second house movie is worth a watch. If for nothing else, the um, John Ratzenberger uh, short part or a, a probably cameo. Um, so, and you could probably find that streaming somewhere. So that is the second one. If you wish to purchase this, purchase this double pack. You can get it for about ten to fifteen dollars on eBay, or eight dollars on Amazon. Oops. The third one that we have is the Woods. So the Woods is about a new student named Heather, who begins to go to a prestigious, sorry, begins to go to the prestigious. Uh, Falburn Academy, um, which is an all-girls school, and when her classmates begin disappearing, which I'm quoting here, she uncovers a horrifying secret and receives an education in terror. And then the last one, which is how to survive. So you got the top spot, even though it's got the word zombie on one of the descriptions, which isn't my favorite genre, is because you know it's it's looking at rules and things. I'm just gonna read the back of this one. When Brian Everett's younger brother Sam goes missing on the island of Tasmania during the middle of a mysterious quarantine. Brian is forced to traverse across enemy lines to save his brother from an army of ghosts. By following Sam's rules of survival, I'm sorry, by Sam, uh, Brian is forced to traverse, uh, across, sorry, Brian is forced to traverse across enemy lines to save his brother from an army of ghosts by following Sam's rules of survival. But will this buy enough time for Brian to find his brother? Or will they both be stuck in a hellish realm of the undead forever? And it got its top spot because it has following rules. And I just like looking at following rules from you know, horror movies. So this movie you can get from for about 5 to $10 on eBay. And it's going for $9 on Amazon. Um, just to mention it, if you have Amazon Prime, this is one of the movies that you can watch. Just to stream it if you just wanted to rent it. Thought I should mention that. So this is the DVD pack. So it is $19.99 a month plus shipping. Or sorry, including shipping. $19.99 a month, including shipping. And I got a value range of about $26.50 to $59. The $59 coming from some of the more inflated prices from eBay. Um, I was, you know, you know, I'm planning on doing a like new feature that would be sort of what would this cost if horror pack didn't exist? Because 
some of the prices that you get are from people who are selling them. Uh, but all four of these movies have, have their own release and are on at low values all by themselves. So the low value of 2650 is, you know, the value that it would be even if Horror Pack didn't exist. That's what you could get it for. I found that it, that it changed a bit in the uh, Blu-ray version that had some, you know, Horror Pack exclusive type things, special editions and things like that. Um, and I also decided to do sort of a, a base level of, for a high price of looking at the Amazon prices, because Amazon is very easily accessible and they have, they usually have multiple copies of things. So this is just like their, their listed price, the one that's usually like the Amazon prime version or, you know, whatever the ones that that's the top one. That's the one I'm looking at for the price here. So I got a price of about thirty fifty for all of these. And with the exception of uh, How to Survive Us, Amazon really had the lowest price for most of these. So the pack is $20, and I'd say the value probably is closer to that to that thirty fifty. dollars So uh, not the best value. Don't know if I would have gone with the five pack. Um, it did add a little bit. You know, a little bit something different, but it's more of a, a quantity over quality thing. If they wanted to do like a nice steel box edition of something, that would be nice. But uh, some of the movies look interesting, so it's not a complete waste. So that is the October DVD horror. Bla sorry, the DVD horror pack, and uh, I will see you in the next video or the next month.